If you don't know exactly where to start, or if you're struggling with your search, give OneSearch a shot. This simple search box can pull up all kinds of information, including articles, books, dissertations, and more. This is great, but it can also be a little overwhelming because it does search everything, and that means you'll get a lot of results. Thankfully, there are ways to narrow your search. This video is going to focus on how to use OneSearch specifically to find articles. To start, you enter your search terms in this box on the library's main page. Just make sure you're on the tab for OneSearch. I'm going to do a search on the concept of moral distress, which is an issue frequently discussed in the nursing and healthcare literature. Okay, uh, over 2 million. I'm definitely not going to look through that many results, but I will scan the first page to see if any of this information is relevant. These all, at first glance, look pretty relevant, and there's a lot of PDF articles. Yay! Something to note, that OneSearch organizes this information by relevance. That means it puts what it thinks is the closest match to your search up at the top. This is just like Google. Most article databases, on the other hand, list things in chronological order, with the most recent at the top. You can change this by clicking on Relevance and selecting Date Newest. But with the volume of information included here, I usually just stick to Relevance. My next step is usually to click on this Advanced Search option. OneSearch searches all the disciplines. That's like everything. So if you are focused in on a particular topic, it's best to select just the resources that are within that topic. So in this case, I'm focusing on Health and Medicine, nursing and allied health, and since this does have a psychological component, psychology. You can scroll down and limit even further. You can look at full text, things just available in the library collection, scholarly, peer-reviewed, very good one to limit to. I'm not going to do it just yet, but I will. And I think I'm going to go ahead and look for some recent articles. So I'll look for just from the past few years. And I'm just going to hit search. Okay, 38,000 still kind of crazy and way more than I'd ever look through, but there's ways to limit it down even further. Yay! Okay, now I may not have mentioned this to begin with, but OneSearch is an EBSCO database, which is why some of this may look sort of familiar. And just like when you use EBSCO databases, you can also use the same sort of limiters. So here are the ones up here at the top. These are the ones I have already used, but I can limit even more. So I'm going to go ahead and select the scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles. So down to 24,000. Eh, still, it's not great, but it's better. I just want academic journals. Getting there. And now they've got these additional limiters. So you can limit by subject. And these are the most common subject headings that occur in um, within these articles. So at first glance, these look most like research methodology things. Not something I really care about one way or the other. So I'm going to select this show more and see if I can get something that's a little more specific to my search. So we've got medical ethics, um, empathy, there's moral distress. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. All right, down to 695. That's looking a lot better than 2 million. You can select by publisher. I don't know really why you would, but there it is if you want it. You can select by the actual name of the publication. So in this case, these are the journals. Usually you don't want to search a specific journal, but if you do, you can. One of the reasons I use this particular limiter is that if you have an article and you actually want to publish it in a journal, you can enter in the key concepts of your paper and then look over here under publication to see which journals publish on that topic the most. Then you know which journals it'd be best to send your journal article to. Something that's interesting if you will publish, if not, then don't worry about it. The articles are coming in a language that you don't speak. Go ahead and select the languages you do speak. Geography. Um, some people get really excited about this because they're like, oh great, my professor said I should only find articles or cite articles that are from North America. I have like lots of issues with that sort of a limiter to begin with, but in this case, this will only limit by geography within the places where, act where it actually lists the country. So you can see here, this one lists New Zealand, that's Iran, that's Switzerland. If it doesn't mention it, then it won't come up. So there may be a lot of studies that are in the United States, but they don't mention it as a subject heading, so it's going to get missed. So moral of the story is don't really use the geography limiter. And then we have content provider. So these are the resources that these articles are coming from. This is a nursing topic, so naturally CINAHL is 
going to be the big winner, but they also have health policy database, which I would not have ever thought to search, so it's sort of neat that it's there. A philosopher's index, which again, had no idea. A business database? No. I would have never searched those. So this can be kind of an interesting way to find other databases that you may not have thought to look in. But at this point, you would probably just start looking through the first, I'd say, one to three pages and to see if there's anything that looks relevant. Now, one thing to think about when you're searching OneSearch, the search experience is going to be much more like Google than an article database. So you're going to have to be just sort of okay with a lot of results and the fact that you're only going to look through the first few pages. That's okay, you don't have to look through everything. And now remember that all of the standard searching tips and tricks apply to OneSearch. Let's say I want to run a new search. So first of all, I'm going to clear this out. I'm going to clear all of my limiters. All right, let's say I want to force it to search moral distress as a phrase. So I'll put it in quotes. And while I've been searching on the concept of moral distress, I've seen another related term, which is moral courage. And I'm going to put that in quotes too. So we can search on that in quotes. And let's see what we find. All right, 7,000. Again, try to think of it in terms of Google. That's not too bad. Then you can also start applying any of the limiters from the date limiters to the peer reviewed, or you can add another term. Say you want to focus on palliative care, you can add that concept. All right, 351, again, that's not too bad. So you are definitely going to be dealing with a lot more information when you search one search versus searching just one database or the library catalog at a time. And that's okay, as long as you remember to use the limiters and make the search as specific and focused as you can.